What's up guys, I'm back on Atlas, and this is the Enceladus outpost behind me. Uh, this is our settlement, our claim up in N1 on the darkest chain island, and uh, absolutely love this place. Um, it's doing really well so far, so we've got a bank and that set up, and surprisingly we're making, um, or getting resources into it. Wasn't sure how busy it would be up here when we claimed it. Um, it was 35 points, I believe, to claim, and it works out at, uh, I think it's like 700 gold a day or something around that mark uh, that we pay to keep the settlement. Um, but yeah, really happy with it so far. We've got a market set up, which I'll show you. I'm just going to show you around the base, obviously, and uh, really, I want to show off my S-type dockyard that I come up with with Rad Dude, and uh, really happy with that, so I'll show you that as well um but yeah like i said this is the 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 island we own we've claimed there you can see the claim flag and uh yeah this is the settlement so let's get on in uh marketplace public entrance which is down there so if you ever come and visit we're underneath the lighthouse or like i said on the darkest chain it will show us enceladus and uh the door for the main entrance for the public is right underneath these billboards uh, yeah let's just start here nice and simple let's get rid of my HUD so we can actually read stuff market public entrance please keep the door closed and sell this market tools weapons ammo resources and all plans that's what we've got for sale at the moment uh, just there eventually it's not at the moment but I'm gonna unlock that gate and uh, make it so if anyone's visiting they can ride the bear or horse or whatever inside there and keep it safe while they're checking out the settlement or looking around the market but at the moment this is the only entrance available for public use and uh, yeah we've got straight into the shops just here so we've got the tool shop weapons and armor and we've got uh, shipping building plans item plans metals and gems and I'm thinking at some point soon I will extend this and add some more stores in and put a bit more variety of resources in um, at the moment in the tool shop I've only got what I thought might be helpful for anyone that's passing by if they forgot tools or uh, just to save making them so you've got some picks some shovels some grappling hooks and then in the weapons and armor I've just got some fur armor some arrows and some uh, bows we've already sold quite a few sets of fur armor and uh, at the moment they're just the common versions eventually once we're up and running fully um, I would like to be able to sell you know the upgraded items and stuff like that in the shop um, as well as obviously the plans and stuff but the idea first of all was just to have stuff that might be useful for anyone that was visiting the island like farming metal or um, anything like that so yeah, that's what we've got at the moment. And then in there we've got some shipbuilding plans. Uh, the highest things we've got at the minute are only journeymen because uh, we're still using our um, you know, like masterwork and mythical stuff, obviously. Um, and we've got quite a lot of stuff to sort out um, in the vault, which I'll show you in a little while. And yeah, once that's all sorted out, obviously we'll have more stuff for sale. Um, and then in the metals and gems we've got some copper which is not from this island of course so that's why that's in there and the same with the gems, we've got some rubies, they're both from L6 which we run up on the um, cargo uh, galleons and stuff like that so yeah that's the marketplace so far, I really like the look of it, I'm really chuffed with it I uh, really like the way it's turned out, the base in general looks a bit like how I would imagine like some sort of Roman outpost or something like that, I think it's uh, got a pretty cool feel to it and the design really come about just by the land that it's sat on, as in I just went with the flow um, we're on a bit of a slope so hence why it's a bit um, hilly if you like <laughs> or a bit um, steep in places but I think it looks kind of nice so yeah that's the marketplace um, we've got a little advert here for our market that's in G8, uh, the huge market like the sign says there, down in G8 where we've got actually a store for each individual resource and um, different uh, plans and tools and weapons and that all laid out. It's not fully done yet but it will be done soon hopefully. Um, but that's going to be like the big main area for the market. It's down in the middle of the atlas right next to the uh, Kraken grid so 
I think it's in a nice little place. And it's quite busy down there for trade, so hopefully that'll work out well. And eventually you'd like to sell animals down there as well, so that'll be handy. But yeah, it's down on the Triumphant Home on the southwest inlet under the arch. And that's just referencing um, on Triumphant Home in G8, it's like a horseshoe shape. And we're like in the southern area. And if you go around the southwest of the island, there's an entrance that's under an arch. And if you go under that arch, you'll see our our um, outpost that's there. So feel free to go and visit and take a look around there. It looks pretty cool. Like I said, it's not completely finished yet. When it is, I'll do a video on it. But um, yeah, go and have a little nosy if you fancy it. Um, up here we've got the bank which is doing surprisingly well uh, got quite a few K um, cobalt and tin in there nearly 8k or seven and a half K opal in there um, obviously the gold's what we put in that's running kind of low. We're about to go and do a run in a moment go and collect some gold and top that all back up load of meat and hide and stuff so we're, we're getting a nice little haul out of it I've not had a really big outpost I don't well, none of the other guys have either because they've only just started playing um, so I don't know what a, a good income looks like in a in a taxation bank, but I feel like that's pretty nice. You know, it's getting us quite a few thousand metal, um, and to be honest, you know, we're quite active anyway. So we make most of our own stuff, and you know, we don't have to rely on it. But it's a nice little addition to our resource income. So that's cool. Uh, just a resource silo here, which is empty at the moment. Normally, I put all our berries and fruit in there that feeds any crew members on the island and also there's no fiber or fruit and veg up here to be um, harvested so uh, we've had to grow our own vegetables and import any fruit that we want uh, which we import with wood and thatch because there's not that many um, trees on this island you might have seen when I looked in the bank there was a little bit of thatch and wood in there um, but there's not that many trees on the island so we import all our wood um, and when we do that we normally bring a load of fruit back so obviously we need to top that up in here this is the original hut that we had when we set up um, none of that down down there was there we used to run up a hill and up these stairs and this was all we had was this little hut and um, I've built everything else off of it uh, the reason being this took quite a long time and a lot of resources to get this built up to a like level position and get it all so that we could build anything on it you know and have a reasonable size base around it so um, yeah it worked out quite well in the end so yeah this is the original room and now it's uh, a public crafting area so all this is unlocked for anyone to use got a grill in here which I did try to um, irrigate but I couldn't get it to snap for some reason I've got two other grills that we use that um, are irrigated but this one didn't want to work uh, so I've just put a tap there so that um, there's easy access to water at least uh, yeah and that's it really in there the um, public crafting room's got you know it's all signposts and that public workshop look so if you're ever wandering around that's where it is and then up here as you can see on the sign there we've got the headquarters let's run on up here and the first thing you see is our little barn and our little uh, pen for our pigs and our cow uh, cows just here in case we want milk for anything and it's obviously an easy and um, Obviously, it's an easy way of getting your blue vitamin. I can't remember what vitamin it is, but the blue bar. And then we've got our four pigs. We've got uh, poop pump one, two, three, and four. And uh, that's for, obviously, farming fertilizer for our crops that we've got up here. And if you don't know, with the pig, you just go up to it and hold E. brings up the radial menu. You tell it to poop, and it poops out a little bit of poop. And you collect that, get some thatch. And you can craft fertilizer. You know, I've had a tree, and we've just got a fertilizer box that we store stuff in it. It's obviously it's just a storage box that we uh, store fertilizer in. Um, now we've got the main building here. We don't really use this really because we're always out and about, or you know, we spawn in and out on ships. But this is the main headquarters. Um, we've got a little bar thing in here. You know, I'm fond of building the bars. So it's got another grill in here, which is irrigated, as you can see there. And just some storage for ale and stuff, and some meat behind me. Shut this. Got the uh, ice box, which is filling up nicely of ice, uh, which is what we've been using preserving. The ice is really good. I think it's actually better than the salt. I have a feeling. Um, and obviously up here, it's easy to get hold of. You ain't got to farm anything. You just stick down your box, and away it goes, and starts slowly collecting ice for you 
got all our preserving bags here just for putting obviously our harvested um, vegetables in got a, a little garden out here just three plots with some chilies in and then uh, and that's being fed with this reservoir you can see there we've got the uh, plumbing in and then out on this side we've got some wheat we've got some maize on the go and another um, irrigation system which is coming off of the um, the uh, water supply down there by the public crafting area so yeah pretty cool obviously I did want uh, we've got the wheat growing obviously to um, tame elephants with I did want uh, turnips and, and beet growing but uh, I couldn't grow that on here or on a stone floor it's got to be on a snow floor so uh, I've got to set that up at some point and when I do I think I'll do a little video on how the uh, you know the harvesting and crop growing works on this game uh, so yeah we'll do that at some point but for now we've just got like I said wheat maize and chili uh, wheat's the main one the others are just for just to have vegetables really to be honest with you uh, got a little storage area up here although we don't really use it anymore because of uh, the vault I've built which I'll show in a little while but it looks pretty cool nonetheless and then down here like that sign above the uh, stairs set up there this is the barracks or the uh, sleeping quarters and this is basically just our fast travel room we've got uh, a few bunks set up each bunk's got its own storage box and preserving bag and then we've got there the uh, tools weapons and fur armor boxes when people jump in they can just grab some tools some armor and off they go or if they're leaving and going somewhere else you can dump all your gear in a box dump all your food in the bag and uh, away you go and when you come back it's all there waiting for you don't forget a set of furs in the box behind you because it gets really cold in here. Uh, it's been minus 60 one time when I was out up here, so it um, gets pretty chilly. Uh, that's the headquarters building. And then, obviously, the elephant in the room, the dockyard. Uh, and on the docks, we've got our crafting area, the main crafting area that the company use. Got a little post office type deal going on here. Uh, outbound N2, outbound L6, outbound K3. And we've got outbound uh, plans and maps in there. And the idea of this is um, because we've got a few different settlements, and this was our main area for farming metal because we've got two types of metal on this island. So it's really handy. And um, obviously, if we take stuff down to G8, which I mentioned earlier, to sell on the triumphant hole. Um, we chuck it in the L6 box, it might be confusing, but the reason that is is because we stop at L6 normally on the way to G8. Um, I do need to get a G8 one actually set up, because we've started just going straight there to be fair. Anyway, without complicating things, you'd say you wanted to take something to L6, or someone was coming up from L6 and going straight back, we'd load up the little box, when they get up here they can just quickly grab it out of the box and away they go. And also with the bookshelf there, um, we organise our maps, so any maps that don't belong up here, we dump in there, and if you're going down to, again, L6, you'd take any maps with you out of there that belong down in that area, not necessarily in L6, but, you know, in that vicinity. Um, yeah, just a nice little way of organising things and making sure things get distributed properly. Uh, so that's pretty cool. This is the main crafting bench, just for crafting odds and sods. Got the boxes behind with some building parts and stuff like that. All all reachable from here, so you ain't got to move around or do anything. Obviously, you can uh, access the uh, ship resource box here. You can see it's all organised into like wood, and thatch, fibre, etc. All nice and simple, nice and organised. And the ammo crate down here, so we can craft our ammo and just dump it straight in there. And also, anything we bring back from... Uh, farming ships that are damned etc anything like that we can bring the ammo we don't want and dump it in here for what, when we might want it later um, so yeah pretty handy to have it all nice and buttered up next to each other that's just the paint box which is really for me just decorating things to get carried away and another grill here which is irrigated which makes it super easy to make paints and stuff obviously obviously a couple of forges this box is just filled with lights for the lighting because it gets super dark up here like really dark really quick I think I'm pretty sure it does get dark here earlier than anywhere else on the map so uh, need a lot of lighting so that's just uh, a light dump so we can go and put our lights on and bring all the dead ones back and recharge them in the bench which I've actually been doing you can see there I've got a few already filled up I'll just top these ones back up once they're done, they'll go in that box ready for the next time. And this is our epic crafting area. Basically, um, you know, for anything fine and upwards up to uh, mythical. 
uh, just to have it all separate so in there we've got a few different types of metal that's on its own and in this box we've got all the other stuff and if you look in here we've got a few different types of wood from different areas on the world just so it's all organized again that's the key to making things nice and quick you can see in here we've um, been crafting stuff recently and there is our most treasured possession the mythical large shipyard which we found recently we've got one set up already um, we're planning to make one and see if we can sell it to anyone so if you're interested uh, <laughs> leave a comment down below and see what we can sort out uh, but yeah nice little setup we've got a uh, really happy this place to be honest obviously standard mortar and pestles on a table because they've got to be on a table it looks better than on the floor loom and a tannery obviously and these are just uh, storage boxes for bowlers um, and then down the stairs we've got the vault let's go check it out I love this place there, there you go it's like a little library we've got all our bookshelves here all organized uh, cannon and turret blueprints, ship blueprints, weapons etc all organized into individual bookshelves so it's nice and easy to find stuff uh, and then behind here you can see there it's got the uh, rare versions so that that's all separate easy to find it and then this is just be like uh, common and fine stuff so we keep the common and fine stuff together and the rare stuff on its own the reason we keep common stuff because actually I don't know I've people don't seem to mention this but I'm gonna mention it for example the speed sail that costs you the same to make that white one as the one out of your skill tree you know if you go up to your loom and try and make a speed sail costs you exactly the same as this costs you but if you make the common blueprint version you get 102 percent increased effectiveness um, increased durability and the same goes for weapons and armor if we take a look we've got some weapons yeah so if we look at um, I don't really matter if we look at the hatchet as common hatchet it's got 103 percent increased damage on it but it costs you the same as the one you'd make in your inventory so yeah a little tip there always if you've got the plans use them you, you get a little increase on them and every little help especially with like weapons and armor and stuff um, where was I? Oh yeah, so that's all there. And we've got the maps and stuff laid out here. Uh, just got a map dump, and then the maps for N1 and local. Local being anywhere within like a decent vicinity around N1, sort of like say five six grids. Uh, got a music one, building plans, all that jazz. And then the storage boxes all laid out. We've got weapons, armor, and all that kind of stuff. We're kind of empty at the moment. Got to get some more crafted. You might have seen in the uh, epic craft area. We've got some mythical um, plate and fur to make. So yeah, that's the vault and that's the crafting area. And this is my beloved S-shaped dockyard. If I run round to the other side, uh, we can get a little bird's eye view. Or we might be able to get a view from here if I stand on this little platform. Whoop. Go on, go on, go on, go on. Uh, yeah, you can see that. So if you look, it's like an S-shape. You can see down there, it goes around and back on itself. So you end up with these two docks. Obviously, there's a galleon in that one and uh, Hercules, which I've mentioned before, not showed you around. I will show you around that scene. It's nothing special, but I like the layout of it. But yeah, obviously, you can get a galleon in where that brigantine is. So it's a really effective way of um, getting the ships in here. And uh, I mentioned in the video where I showed you my transport galleon, that being this one here, Njord's Mike, that I've got four cargo racks. Uh, Rad Dude's galleon's identical, his cargo racks are on the front as well. And uh, the third galleon we have, which Jamie has down in G8 Midnight, that is uh, the same as well. So they, all, they would all fit in here, and every time you pulled in and parked up, just like this one, because they only fit a certain way, um, you'll always end up with your cargo rack above these little platforms and you can reach the cargo rack if you're like me and you haven't got a super tiny character yeah, obviously my guy's like a normal sort of height um, if you've got um, <laughs> like uh, Jamie and Rad Dude have done they've got really tiny characters so if they're like overweight they can't jump and access this so that's why we've got these little platforms but it's actually really handy um, if I go and grab a bear quick boom and uh, go back around there uh, first of all you can see like this is plenty wide enough to get the bear around you can run all the way around here nice and easily with no like interference from anything and you can turn around nice and easy um, but like I was saying if you bring one of these up to the platforms and you jump off and you come up here you can unload out of here I'll just do this for now just to show you boom straight into the back of your, your uh, cargo wagon 
Um, so it works out really nice. It's a really nice little layout, I think. Um, like I said, we can get two galleons docked in there at a time, plus you can have um, one or two brigs parked up here. You can have two or three brigs parked on there where the sea wolf is. And you can also get um, you can also get a brig parked down here on this end, just where these these railings have been taken out. So yeah, we can get quite a few ships up here. Uh, another cool thing with this craft now I didn't show you was if you stop like that and uh, everything's made so you can just swing around and dump it straight into the resource box. So it's a really efficient uh, little dot guard we've got going on here. But the, the main thing, like I said, is this S-shaped dock. I think it's a really cool little design. It'll work almost anywhere, providing you've got the right um, terrain underneath the water there, obviously. And uh, I'm definitely going to be using this design again. It's been really, really cool so far. So yeah, that's the dockyard and Enceladus outpost. And over there, I will magically warp over there in a second, we've got a little Mythos pen. Pow! We're at the Mythos pen. I was over there, now I'm here. Magic. Um, yeah, this is just a little pen that's empty at the minute because I um, farmed the stuff that was in it earlier. But um, obviously it's got no gate on. The reason being I don't want anyone to forget is, uh, forget to shut it behind them. So it's a bit dodgy for anyone passing by. So if you do come and visit, please don't fall in here with your bear because if there's a load of yetis in there, it will get ganked and I'd feel really bad. But um, yeah, the idea is that anything around here will wander in and fall inside. Obviously, there's a bear in there at the moment. But most of the time, if you leave this a few hours, um, you'll come online and this thing will be filled and uh, with yetis and bears and wolves or whatever. And if you're lucky, there'll be like five or six yetis in there. And depending on the level, that's quite a nice little haul of mythos. And um, we come and do this whenever we're around here. And if we know, you know, just randomly come and do it, basically. And you get a steady little in income of mythos. Um, so when you go to build something that requires mythos, you've already got a little stash of it. So you don't have to go and farm loads of stuff to get it. You've just got a steady little income. It's really simple. Obviously, we've got um, a swivel cannon on opposite corners, and then we've got the ammo box up there, which does reach this one over here. So if I get on here, you can see it will be it will let me load it and shoot the bear, like so. If I bring my uh, HUD back up, there you go. Um, so yeah, it's a really effective little thing, and it works really well. And it's to be honest, it's quite good fun when there's a lot of stuff in there and there's a couple of you. So um, yeah, that's that, and I just got uh, some em uh, just got some emergency fat roofs in there in case we get stuck in there with an animal or whatever. Ah, oh, almost forgot to mention the flag itself, the mighty uh, image of Njord there, which is a Viking sea god. Um, so you can see there the settlement in Celadus gold coins, three hundred fifty-eight. That's the upkeep cost. It works out about seven hundred gold a day, I believe it is, like every. 24 hours. I, I might be wrong on that, but I think it's around that mark. Um, so you need to get a good steady income to be able to keep one of these places running if you want to actually claim the island. Um, obviously, it, this was a really cheap island as well, believe it or not. It was only 35 points, which is one of the cheaper ones you can get. So um, if you like start going up to, say, like 60 70 points it starts costing over a thousand pound a day um a thousand gold a day sorry so you need to if you're going to do this you need to make sure that you're going to be able to actually keep up with the payments otherwise you'll you know lose out on it um so we've always got a few thousand in the bank at all times to keep it going and obviously we make sure we go out and do some whale farming which i'll do a video on soon do a bit of whale farming with you guys and uh, to be honest, so far we've found that's the quickest, most efficient way to go and get a nice big um, hoard of gold when you're trying to top up your um, settlement costs. So yeah, that's the Enceladus Outpost. There's a little bit on the uh, settlement claim. And uh hope you like the base and, well, the outpost. Feel free to come and check it out. Like I said, we're directly under the uh, our lighthouse there in N1. Um, at the top corner of the map on official on the EU server so feel free to stop by and have a look around check out the market um, I'm gonna get some more stuff put in there at some point 
um, some higher level stuff. Uh, to be honest, we were just like testing the water with it at the moment, and we've been getting sales with it. So I can't see any reason not to start putting some higher level stuff in here. So drop by and check it out and see if there's anything you fancy. And uh, yeah, hope you like the outpost. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>